All right. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to what will hopefully be the last of my Escape from Bronze YouTube series. In case you're new to this channel, this is where I throw a ton of my placement matches, and I, in fact, started out in True Bronze 5. So, from there I tried to do everything I could to get out of Bronze, and currently we're in our Bronze promos. We're in Bronze 1, going into promos to get into Silver. We've won two games, lost one, so as long as we win either this game or the next one, we'll get out of bronze and we'll be in silver. So I'm hoping we can. I uh, actually already went into a promo series for this, tried to record for it, and uh, <laughs> it went really bad. I had two games that were 4v5 on my team, people just disconnected. What the heck? Is this Gnar trying to counter jungle me? In case you didn't know, that's actually the correct way to pronounce his name. It's Gnar. The G is not silent. They never explicitly stated that on their right webpage, so it's Gnar. <laughs> if you want, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Alright, looks like Poppy and Zerath are scaring him away. That's good, that's good. We're too far away to affect any change on that. So, this series, this video, I'm going to be playing Jax. I know I've played him a little bit in the past, so I'm not going to talk about him too much. If you want to know how to play Jax, then I made other videos that are like actual real guides about it. You can go ahead and watch those if you want. This video is going to be more about like broad goals on how to get out of bronze. And I've got like a few tricks that I was going to start just listing off during this video. And I guess like the first thing to stay, like if you're trying to climb, there's going to be a lot of games that are just like 100% out of your control and there's nothing you can do about it. and <coughs> you just can't let it get you down. Like there are some games that are just genuinely unwinnable and it's okay. Just take the loss, it'll be alright, move on. <laughs> Don't get too beat up about it, and you'll get the next one. That being said, there's a lot of games that go the opposite direction, where they're just like a clear win, or at least they should be. A lot of times, people get way too overconfident, like win the early game, and then they mess up and start feeding into the late game. Alright, we burned his flash, got some damage off to him, it's a good gank. So I'm just going to try not to go over-aggressive this game more than anything. That's been something I've had a little bit of trouble with in the past, is I just go way, way too ham, like this guy's doing right there. That's a perfect, perfect play by Poppy. This Gnar is bad. So that actually brings me to my next point, is if you really want to escape from bronze, one of the best things you can do is just start taking advantage of the bad players on the enemy team. So this Gnar got bullied out of lane by Poppy and immediately teleported back into a minion that was right by a wall. So it's easy for Poppy to just E him right into a wall and kill him. Which is exactly what she did. Alright. Alright, so right there we chained our CC together. I'm going to tank these minions for Poppy so she doesn't die. Then I'm just going to let her get that farm because it's not under tower. Although she's going to have to go back. So when she can't go back, it's actually a lot better to push lanes out. Because Poppy has to go back here. So if she goes back and then all these minions are under her turret, then she misses all that CS. But in this case, what we did was we pushed it back out to the middle, so it's just going to freeze in the middle, and it's going to stay the same. So ideally, you want to push it under the enemy's wave, so that or under the enemy's turret, so the enemy loses all the CS. But you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. It's okay. That's also another good point: is what to do after a gank, right? Successful or like if it's a successful gank, awesome. What you want to do is exactly what we did there. We push the lane out so that Nar loses some CS, right? Poppy gains a bunch of it back. It's good for Poppy, right? Bad for Nar. Always a good thing for us, right? And, uh, yeah. I guess the other thing is, like, learn how to play from behind, because there's a lot of games that are just not going to go your way. Like, it happens. 
you know, you gank all the lanes, get a kill in every lane, and then they still end up losing lane. It happens. There's nothing you can do about it. It happened in my first promo series. Like, I've got the videos from all those. I was recording them, but I don't think I'm going to upload any of them because they were just so bad. Like, uh, just unbelievably terrible. I don't know. If you guys really want to see them, put it in the comments or something, I'll upload them maybe. But they were not pretty. <laughs> but that's alright. So, I guess the other thing is, like, once you accept it, that there's some games that are just out of your control. Um, if you want to put games back into your control, one of the best things you can do is play a hyper carry, right? Like Jax. Jax is a late game hyper carry. The biggest thing you want to avoid with hyper carries, though, is being too cocky in the early game. Anybody that's a hyper carry can affect the game in the end, but they're almost, like, every single one of them, pretty much. is terrible in the early game. Right? So Jax is a very strong champion, one of the strongest right now, in my opinion, but he has a very, very weak early game. And because of that, like, if you play too strong... Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Alright, so Twisted Fate's going top. Now get away, the jungler's gonna back him up. Yeah. So if you play a hyper carry, just be careful in the early game, I guess, because you're not going to be as strong as you normally would. I want to gank this, but I don't know. It's good to get control wards, too. So right here I can see that they actually do know I'm here, so the gank is ruined for now. And yep, there's the jungler. Came in just like I said he would, right? So yeah, if you really want to start affecting games a lot, then what you can do is play hyper carries like Jax. Or Yi. Yi's another example of a good hyper carry. Draven, if you, want to, if you play bot lane a lot. Alright, so we know that's warded. This lane's completely pushed, so I can't really gank. So let him know. Lots of communication's good. Yeah. So the biggest effort you want to put into games, or when you want to really just go into full try-hard mode, is the games that are close, right? The games that are really close are the ones you can affect the most. Okay, this Twisted Fate's pushing really hard, overextending, so you want to capitalize on that. Xerath's coming in. Wait until he uses the stun, or uses the jump. I'm actually probably didn't need to just steal that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, Zareth even threw a question mark down on that, because, I don't know. I was worried that he was going to get away, I didn't think that... Yeah, I was just securing it more than anything there. I just didn't want him to get away. When it's close like that, you want to really just, like... That's another one of my points, is the close games, or the ones where you're ahead by a bit, like that, it's pretty obvious we were going to kill Twisted Fate there. Don't let up, right? Like, in little situations or in big situations, don't let up in any way at all. If you're ahead, push your lead and just completely mess them up, even more than you have been already. So if you're ahead in the game, don't let up, don't be nice to people or whatever. Ooh, hello, Zerath. What are you doing? Come back for it. Woofta, that's mean. Alright, turn to Mary's flash. Zerath about killed him there too. That's awesome. Woof Herald's up in fifteen. What is this Nard doing? He's playing so dangerously. No, Poppy, he knows. He knows! Very good. Uh, I'm trying to take aggro for you. 
That was good. Alright, so we know Trendomir went back after we flashed over there. So this is probably safe to take, even if it's not, with my ultimate up and we're ahead a little bit. This is what I mean by pushing your leader right here, right? So he can either try and secure his buff. I have a ward that I can jump to here if someone from the mid lane comes in. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the mid laner's AFK. Mia, whatever, missing in action. So that's exactly what you want to do, is just push the lead, right? We're ahead right now, we really want to push this lead. I don't know if my team necessarily is ahead, but we're definitely ahead as Jax. Which is the ideal situation that you want to be in. I might just do like a, <clears throat> a bit more heavily edited version of this video where I talk about like in very detailed ways the exact play styles and tips and tricks to get out of bronze. And I think it's a bit more credible than most YouTubers, no offense to the other guys, like there's a lot of cool YouTubers out there, but I haven't seen any of them that actually like did this like through like 100% just through their promo series. I couldn't, by the time I got down there, They'd be backed anyway, it's too bad. But yeah, I haven't seen any other YouTubers that actually, like, legit through their promo series, started off in bronze and then said, like, how to get out of bronze. Like, they'll do iron rank to diamond, but most of them don't do, like, unranked to bronze to silver, and then up to diamond, so. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, they're pushing the lane out, like, as far as it goes all the time. So... I can't gank it when it's that far pushed. Alright, I'm just gonna walk around and drop some wards. Prepare the gank for when they all come back into lane. Okay. Should try and secure this here soon too. Alright. Yeah, Twist of Fates go on top. We wanna get the dragon here. Jax is really good at taking object objectives too. Alright, 570 to smite. Got it. Because of his E, he can dodge a lot of the incoming damage. Zerath wants to push mid tower. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to take it. <clears throat> Just be wasting my time there right now. All my jungle camps are up, so I want to clear those. Because I am a late game hyper carry, I'm still not very strong just yet, so I want to get a bunch more items before I really start doing some crazy stuff. All right. Looks like they're fighting here in the bot lane, so we're going to try and give them a gank. But again, the lane is like pushed all the way up all the time, so it's kind of hard to gank for them. So Trindomir used a bunch of stuff to get out of that. <coughs> Let's see if we can take this tower now. Nice. Very good. So Poppy's actually doing pretty good right now versus Nar, so if she wants this, she can take it. It'll just push her lead, the one that she already has. I have smite up so I can take this. Yeah, if she wants it, she can take it. That's fine. Just fine. 
let her get all that farm up top. In the meantime, I'm gonna go see if I can get some buffs. Or just clear my jungle camps. Alrighty. So, yeah. This game's looking like it's going pretty well, so... And this is one of those games that I was talking about that, it, that are really close, right? As far as team kills go, we're dead even. Our bot lane is kind of losing, right? Doing stupid crap all the time. Right, I'm just gonna let him know. I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. Nice. Morg landed a binding. Lucian's going to use his ultimate. Oh, man. Twisted Fate's going in for the gank. I think they all know I'm here. Yeah. I'm going for it. If they want to follow, they can. Shit. Jinx is going to walk through the rest of our team now, isn't she? Ooh, nice, 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 Zerath. That was good. He saved that team fight right there. Alright, so Zerath is a really good player, so we want to play around that. Nice again. Man, this guy's on fire. That's awesome. So yeah, that goes back to one of the points that I said earlier where uh, if there's bad players on the enemy team, focus them down. Just beat them into the dirt and make them tilt and quit in AFK like this Gnar. Who, I don't know if he's necessarily a bad player. He kind of lost lane. He pushes really hard with like zero health, but he keeps all of his escapes so that when a gank does come in, he can still use his jump and everything to get away. So, yeah, I'm also gonna come up here. Yeah. So just focus the players that are really good or really bad. If they're really good, focus on your team. If they're really bad. Oh, come on. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did somebody just flash right there? I thought I heard a flash. Yeah. Alright, get some health and mana back. And I think it's about time we killed a Twisted Fate. <laughs> So I made Trendomir use his ultimate, Zerath gets the long range executed on him, it's perfect. Perfect stuff right there. Very good. Uh, there's no way Twisted Fate will stay around. Sona has to use the ult there, my Q will be up in a second, but yeah, Nars over there. Oh man, I jumped on Nar right as he jumped and then I followed him over me into tower range. That's that's unlucky. That's right though. Ooh, no, Nar got Zerath. That's not good though. Come on, Poppy. Kill that Nar. Oh no. Run away, run away. Morg lands the binding. Poppy goes back in. Arguably a bad idea, but I don't know. Wow, Morg actually... Ooh, nice! She's gonna get away. Good job, good job. Alright, Infernal Drake's up. I'm coming down to help secure that. Alright, they're chasing way, way too far right now. I don't know how Morg didn't get away from that, but by god she didn't. <laughs> it's kinda rough. They're getting the Infernal Drake right now. I 
think they all left. I'm not really sure. Yeah, they all left. Alright, we're just gonna clear our jungle again. This game is really close, so... I want to make sure that I have as much farm as possible. Freaking hell, there's a team fight mid. I'm coming, I'm coming. Damn it, all to hell. The jinx is out of control. It's too bad. It's weird on our, like, is able to reach behind him and throw people into the... Alright, this game's starting to turn away from us. That Jinx is really becoming a problem. We need to focus her down more than anyone else now. They've got a lot of stuns on their team between Jinx's little chompers, Nars throws, on his ult. Which is why we got the uh, boots. Mercury treads. <clears throat> Gives us some more tenacity, so that's nice. Hmm. Ooh, hello, Nar. Did he cancel that? I think he canceled that. Yeah. Oh. Maybe he went. I'm not sure what just happened there. Yeah, I think he went to teleport top, but then Morgana landed the thing on him. Landed her binding on him and stopped his teleport. Alright. So, I guess we'll just clear the rest of our jungle now. I want to split push this, I think. Yeah, I think split pushing is a good idea because we are starting to fall behind a little bit. And if you're having trouble winning team fights, split pushing is the absolute answer to that every time. Because it just like forces, yeah. Just D guys, just D. I don't know what that guy was thinking. Alright. Looks like Trindamir might come for me here soon. We may be able to just get a pick off on that guy, actually. Alright. Maybe we'll get picked instead. <laughs> God, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, nice. They all went for me, and then my team capitalized on it, so that's good, that's good. My team knows how to rotate and stuff, so... Gotta love that. I don't mind dying for getting a bunch of kills like that. Ooh, Lucian, don't... No, 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 don't flash aggressively 1v4 in the middle of their base, you idiot! So right now, the biggest problem that AD carries have is that they uh, have no escapes, right? Like, they get just focused by everyone and die immediately. So AD carries like Lucian, who actually do have escapes, like his little dash thing and his flash. They need to save those. Like, if you use those aggressively, always a bad idea. to save those so that you can get away from things. Same with Jax, like his Q, right? You can ward hop with it, so... Alright. Looks like they're having a little skirmish in the mid lane. Looks like they're winning the skirmish. That's excellent. That means we're gonna get this tower. Towers are more important than team fights, always. Alright, 
Looks like we're gonna get a tower off of that. Jinx fired her rockets, so she is coming. There we go. Perfect. They say somebody's coming this way. So there's two types of split pushers in League of Legends. One's like Singed, where they can run away. They've got really good escapes. And the ones like Jax, or Trindamir, or Shaco, who just execute anybody that comes at them while they're split pushing. We want to secure this. There's a whole bunch of them around, but we could go for it if we wanted to. If I can pull it over. I can take this really fast. I'm gonna go for it. Very good. Alright, we got an Ocean Drake and now our whole team is here. That's good, that's good. Woo, don't wanna don't want any of that. Ow, 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 ow. I'm out of here. See you later, guys. I'm split pushing. <laughs> so my team can win that fight without me, and I'm at super low health, so I could either go back or start split pushing again. So I'm going to opt for the split push. Split pushing is also really good on hyper carries because it lets you get like a whole bunch of CS, so you can just get more fed, right? So because I went and split push and I have some lifesteal, I'm almost up to full health again. And we're going to get mid tower, and we're also going to get bot tower. So we're just going to be looking around, seeing what everyone else is doing. Tower is more important than a team fight. All right, now that we got the tower, we can go back in. Oh yeah, and that's the game right there. Boom. So, that's how you get out of bronze, everybody. Play Jax, first of all. Play a hyper carry. Play kind of scared and timid in the early game, and then switch to playing really, really aggressive in the late game. As a side note, Courage of the Colossus is still really good on champions that have an AoE stun, right? So, Jax's E is AoE, so... AoE stuns are the best way to proc that. So, there you go. That's how you get out of bronze. I'm not going to end the video here. I'm actually going to go show you guys something cool right after this. Cool little victory screen. And for once... Oh, no, not Minesweeper. There we go. Congratulations. You've been promoted to silver. Ha <laughs> ha! So that's how you get to silver. If you like this video, like this series, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, then go away.